All right, boys, it's finally here. T Fortress 2 matchmaking in our hands came out today in the meet your match or like meet versus match, whichever one you're looking at, like page one or page two. And this update brought some pretty amazing things, like you know, competitive matchmaking, something that was announced like last year. I know, holy crap, it's been so long, and like it's here in our hands, along with you know three amazing maps. I, I honestly, Sunshine is like one of my favorite maps in the game, and. I didn't get a play on it today, but you know, I'm really looking forward to like get into it. I only had time for a few matches. The servers were down for you know the first hour or two after it came out because you know that's something we should just be expecting from a Team Fortress 2 update at this point. Because when an update comes out, everyone tries to get in on it, and it takes a while. Now there were also a bunch of weapon changes, balance changes, and there were a few that are like really high hitting up in there, like. There's one for the medic that gives every medigun the ability to copy the move speed of the wearer, which is pretty much only important for scouts. So if a medic needs to, he can heal a scout to make a quick escape moving at scout speed, which is insane. And I mean, they buffed the they buffed the overdose, which is like, okay, you can move faster while you fully with that, or you could just heal a scout to move at that speed. So I mean, they nerf the quick fix a bit. They made Spy faster. So now Spy moves at the same speed as a medic, meaning he can catch up with most any other class in the game. He, so he can catch Pyros, he can catch anyone who norms at the normal speed. Uh, so Spy, he can catch Pyro, he can catch NGs, which is... I don't know how I feel about that one. That one's like... Ugh. And then you got something like for the Engineer, where this teleporters only cost 50 metal to build. So you can drop down a teleporter when you leave spawn. Drop one when you get out to the battlefield and still have enough to build a mini sentry or dispenser. And that, that one's really huge. Because I don't... As long as I've been playing, and I'm pretty sure for most of Team Fortress 2's life, they've costed 125. Which is like... Eh. And then the Widowmaker got a buff. Like, with no downsides. And I mean, that gun was already, like, insane. Now they've all so revolutionized, or like, changed. I want to call it revolutionized, because I don't know how I really feel about it yet. The way... It quick play is done so like you don't just pick a valve server hop on it and play anymore now you sit and wait for a queue which i know it's the first day so like this is ground zero like day zero kind of thing and i can't be expecting the servers to work that well but i'm hoping that the server like match time gets faster as like this is, like going into like tomorrow and the next day because I could not for the life of me get into a casual game and you know which is all right because I was playing mostly competitive I got like five matches in felt really good but I was like oh you know let's see how this casual works and couldn't get a match at all like I had to go find some 32 player gold rush server because my favorite weapon for the sniper the Sydney sleeper you know my baby that thing is like it got buffed so now if you headshot someone or hit them with a fully charged body shot it will do the little poof of Jurati around them, like as if you had thrown it, which is really good because, like, as I've said in another one of these, I love that weapon. Like, it is, yeah, it's really, I don't know. Also, you can extinguish teammates with it now, which is also really insane for like a sniper. Weapon. It's the most like team-oriented sniper weapon on all. And you know, I'm not gonna go too deep into that, but speaking more about the competitive mode. The Gorge is still in it, which I think is a bit odd. I'm not... I mean, I love Gorge, uh, but, like, I love, like, 24 players, you know, all trying to fit down one choke point Gorge. That is... That's, like, my jam right there. Now, this, like, 6v6 Gorge, I think there are better attack defense maps, like CP Gravel Pit, which is really good for attack defense. But, I don't know. They've also got uh, Snake... No, not Swift, Swift Water in there. The one that just got added that's been like, you know, being played for like 10 years, no, five years, you know, exaggeration on my part, but that's in there. And so I don't know how 6v6 payload works out, but I'm hoping to get a chance on it. And like I said, it's day zero. We don't know where this is going to go, but I have really high hopes for this. You know, they've also added a few other little minor changes, like being able to put your view models on like the bottom of your screen. So everything's sort of oriented like the original. It's all right. I mean, it kind of makes up for the fact that you can't turn off your view models in matchmaking, which isn't the biggest problem for me, but for some people it might be really controversial. And I'm just wondering, what do you think is, like, the biggest, like, most important change that they've made during this, like, 
the most influential one that'll change like matchmaking or anything. Like the quickie bomb launcher change was really big. The medics change is really big. The spy one's iffy. But whatever you think was like the biggest one, why don't you say that? Why don't you give me like a response? And with that, I'm gonna go play some more. Like this, I'm really enjoying this. I'm having so much fun. I hope you are too. So stay golden.